The following is a presentation of TFNN. Next up, uh, we're going to go to uh, Florida, Titusville. Nick, uh, thanks for hanging on the line. How are you doing today? Hi, yourself, sir? I'm doing well. Uh, Ken, I want to say I'm, I'm 84 years old, and the way you explain things makes it very easy to follow. That's uh, very, that. very, uh, very nice of you to say, Nick. I appreciate that uh, very much. Have a good day, sir. All right, you too. Live at TFNN, Breakout Investing, with your host, Ken Shreve. Welcome, everyone. Happy Hump Day. Hope you're having a great Wednesday out there. Welcome to another edition of Breakout Investing on TFNN, 877-927-6648. That's the number to use if you want to call me toll-free, talk about this market. You can catch my show daily on TFNN from 3 to 4 Eastern. And if you can't listen live, don't worry about it. Head over to iTunes, and you can pick it up as a podcast. And uh, a lot of people listening to TFNN on their smartphone these days. Days. All you have to do is plug your earbuds in, open your smartphone browser, type in tfnn.mobi. Very easy way to listen to the stream. And uh, don't forget about Tiger TV on the homepage of tfnn.com. Channel 1, the show is carried live. It is archived on Channel 13 with uh, Tiger TV. Not only do you get the show audio, but you also get um, video as well. So if you want to look at charts live right along with me, you can use Tiger TV to do that. Uh, you can also watch Tiger TV on your handheld device. Just open your smartphone browser again, type in tfnn.com, uh, wait for the website to pull up, and then over on the top right-hand side of the page, you'll see a little box with three cell phones inside. Just click that box. It'll recognize what sort of device you you have Android, iPhone, etc. It'll start streaming right on your iPhone. Um, let's take a look at the major averages here. Not a whole lot of volume in the market uh, today. Remember, uh, volume last Friday was uh, very heavy due to uh, options uh, expiration. We were off Monday, of course, to celebrate Martin Luther King Day, and uh, volume yesterday lower than Friday, and we're even tracking a little bit lighter uh, today as uh, well. At last check, volume on the NASDAQ was tracking very close to what we saw yesterday, which was 1.77 billion shares, tracking about 3 to 4% lighter than that uh, right now. Volume yesterday in the New York Stock Exchange, 619 million shares on the light side. We are tracking about 1 to 2% lower than that today. Uh, NASDAQ Composite, once again uh, trading up near its session high, trading in a real tight range here. Still no sellers anywhere to be found in this market. Go ahead and refresh this chart. We'll get the latest look at the NASDAQ composite. It is up a little more than 14 points, almost a half a percent gain to 31.57. The benchmark S&P 500 also uh, trading at its session high up close to three and a half points to 1496 not that far from that 1500 level and the Dow Jones industrial average up a little more than 80 points six tenths of a percent gain to uh, 13792 so uh, is this a market that's starting to look a little overbought a market that might be getting a little extended here uh, possibly but uh, you know, you, you always hear that you know stocks or major averages uh, that are overbought can stay overbought, stay extended for uh, a period of time. So just because it looks like the market might be ready to pull back, doesn't mean it's time to necessarily start making bearish uh, bets here by going short some of these strong growth stocks that have been uh, performing like gangbusters. Uh, wait for the sell signals; they'll they'll come at some point. But but um, with the focus on fourth quarter earnings season right now, um, buyers remain in control. So going short right now really would be swimming against a fairly positive market tide. We did get a little layer of uncertainty removed from the market today. The House of Representatives approved, uh, approved a three-month debt limit extension out to May 19th, so the government can uh, continue to pay its uh, bills. It's, uh, you know, more can-kicking, but it is uh, one less thing for the market to worry about here. When it comes to, uh, well, first of all, that bill was approved uh, mostly along party lines, 285 
to uh, 144. Of course, the House of Representatives controlled by the Republicans, the Senate controlled by the uh, Democrats. Uh, all eyes on Apple here. We are uh, going to hear from Apple after the close today. Clearly a stock that has been under distribution since uh, September, October. Uh, institutional investors kind of fretting about growth prospects here, but we'll hear from Apple after the close. Right now the stock is up $8.31, almost a 1.7% gain to 5.1308. Um, you know, there were some tech stocks headed into earnings yesterday that were looking quite vulnerable ahead of uh, earnings. And, um, you know, one was uh, Google, the other was Intuitive Surgical, and uh, IBM uh, was also not exactly a picture of uh, technical health. All three stocks weren't really pictures of technical health headed into earnings. Uh, Apple is not a picture of technical health either, but um, you know, we'll talk about IBM, Google, and Intuitive Surgical in just a moment. All three stocks gapping up out of the gate on better than expected results. So listen, it's not out of the question that we could see really nice uh, numbers from uh, Apple. Earnings per share to look for, the Thomson Reuters consensus estimate, $13.41 a share. That is uh, the consensus estimate that would be down 3% from a year ago. Sales uh, right around $54.7 billion. That would be up 18% from the year ago quarter. iPhone sales eh, anywhere from 46 to 48 million units. Uh, could see 50, 51. You know, the market would probably like that. iPad sales expected to be between 23 and 25 million. So uh, clearly concerns about growth going forward at Apple, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the numbers uh, look like. And, um, you know, big sellers have been getting out of this stock for a few months now. Uh, so we'll see if it was warranted or unwarranted when Apple reports after the close. The uh, bond yields lower again, but not by much today. The 10-year uh, note uh, at 1.83%, 30-year bond 3.03%. February gold today fell $6.50. Four tenths of a percent decline settles at one thousand six hundred eighty-six dollars and seventy cents an ounce. U.S. dollar index uh, flirting with that eighty level. Last trading around seventy-nine ninety-four, up close to one tenth of one percent. Not much movement in the greenback today. March uh, crude oil, that is the new front end contract, down a dollar forty-five. Uh, one and a half percent to ninety five twenty three a barrel. Uh, remember yesterday we heard from Kansas City Southern KSU. See the stock is following through nicely after uh, a gap up uh, yesterday. It closed just underneath ninety two. Uh, today is trading around ninety three eleven, up another one point six percent. So uh, when you know, when you're seeing money come in from the sidelines, you tend to see some of these breakouts follow through. So the buying is extended for a second or sometimes even a third day. So strong numbers from Kansas City Southern uh, after or, or yesterday. And then we, we're hearing from a bunch of bunch more railroads. But before I want to before we check on the other railroads that reported today, I wanted to take a look at the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Index Fund, the IYT. You know, we're talking about you know the crop of extended overbought stocks and ETFs out there. I mean, they're really the uh, rule, not the exception at this point. But you can see IYT, a classic example of uh, what an extended overbought ETF uh, looks like here. Now, again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, ETF stocks that are extended in price, overbought, uh, they can stay that way for a while. But uh, the important thing is you don't want to chase uh, after a huge price move. And IYT definitely falls under that uh, category. You can see a gap up for the fund when you know the major averages had great days back there on January uh, second, uh, but the IYT last trading at 102.80, up another three tenths of a percent on the day. The top five holdings in the IYT are railroad stocks. Uh, mentioned KSU, Kansas City Southern. They reported earnings uh, yesterday, and then uh, today we heard from Norfolk Southern. 
And uh, Thursday, we're going to hear, tomorrow, we're going to hear from Union Pacific. But let's take a look at a couple of other rail earnings uh, today. And again, the top five holdings in the IYT are railroad stocks, Union Pacific, Kansas City Southern, and uh, Norfolk Southern. So uh, let's start by taking a look at NSC, Norfolk Southern. They came out with earnings after the close uh, yesterday. Still dealing with weak coal demand here. Uh, management of Norfolk Southern said it's very difficult to uh, predict when coal shipments will increase. So there is some, uh, some you know, hazy earnings visibility at Norfolk Southern, but uh, earnings were down 6% from a year ago to $1.30. That did beat the consensus, consensus estimate of $1.19. Sales were down 4% to $2.68 billion, mostly in line. So Norfolk Southern having a good day. Uh, despite kind of lackluster results up 2.6 percent to 68.68 and then another laggard railroad stock at least when compared to uh, Kansas City Southern and Union Pacific let's take a look at CSX bullish move for CSX today uh, gaps above its 200 day moving average here up 4.3 percent on the day to 2171 uh, this company also dealing with uh, soft coal revenue Earnings were flat from a year ago at 43 cents a share, four cents above the consensus estimate. Sales down 2% to 2.88 billion, slightly ahead of uh, expectation. Coal revenues uh, down 18% from a year ago uh, to around 747 million on a volume decline of 19. Uh, again, tomorrow we're going to hear from Union Pacific all about the rail, as you can see. Um, in recent days, Union Pacific uh, having a big day ahead of earnings uh, tomorrow, up 1.8% to 136.15. Another stock that is extended after its gap up on January 2nd. So, um, you know, when I do my radio show, I always like to, you know, give give listeners, uh, on, you know, people watching on Tiger TV, like to give them some, you know, charts that are actionable, stocks to watch that could be on the, the verge of uh, breaking out. Right now, we're at that time in the market where just the, the number of extended stocks out there are just too many to, to count. And when you're looking for actionable buying opportunities, man, that crop is... Um, is pretty small at uh, at this point so patience discipline uh, very very important uh, right now all right let's take a look at some of these uh, tech earnings that uh, reported earnings after the close yesterday starting off with IBM a big gap up for big blue up 4.9 percent to 205.74 hits an intraday high of 208.58 so very strong buying demand for IBM earnings up 14 percent to 539 that was 14 cents above the uh, consensus estimate sales down one percent from a year ago to 29.3 billion uh, that was a couple hundred million above the uh, consensus estimate. Company said 2013 earnings will be at least $16.70 a share. That was slightly ahead of the uh, current consensus estimate at 16.63. Uh, IBM continues to benefit from a push toward higher margin software and services, not focusing as much on hardware. Breakout investing on TFNN, folks. Ken Shreve with you. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN is proud to partner with Great Panther Silver for another exciting silver coin giveaway. The Great Panther Silver Super Silver Giveaway begins the week of January 28th and will be choosing 47 lucky winners. It's free to enter with absolutely no strings attached. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com today to fill out your entry form. Every hour that we're on the air, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. the week of January 28th, we'll be randomly choosing one lucky winner that will win a silver coin or bar from Great Panther Silver and TFNN. And the final hour of the week, Friday, February 1st, we'll choose three lucky winners. That's 47 winners in just one week with over $1,000 in silver given away to our loyal listeners. Register today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. And for more information on Great Panther Silver, you can click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex symbol GPL or on the Toronto Stock Exchange symbol GPR. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. Folks, don't forget, uh, sign up on the homepage of TFNN.com for the Super Silver Giveaway. That's going to be starting January January 28th through February 1st at TFNN.com uh, every hour from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. That is all live programming on TFNN. Uh, TFNN and Great Panther Silver are going to be giving away a, a, a silver coin, beautiful silver uh, coin. Starting January 28th through February 1st, you can register for free right on the homepage of TFNN.com. And uh, also, don't forget to check out a 30-day trial to my newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, carried at TFNN. Uh, to get 30 days free, you can uh, click on the Newsletters tab right on the homepage, then click on Investment Newsletters and uh, test drive the letters. It's been a great start to 2013. The model portfolio is currently long, about um, eight stocks, all relatively new positions, uh, trying to take advantage of uh, recent strength in the market. And, you know, taking a step back and looking at the major averages, uh, just really, you know, same story here, not seeing uh, anything in the way of sell signals here it's not to say that sell signals you know aren't going to make their uh, presence felt at some time but um you know with this um 
debt limit extension passed today by the House. A fourth quarter earnings uh, surprise, surprise that is probably going to come in better than expected, and uh, sentiment being overall positive in the market here. I think this uh, this rally could work for a while longer. It, uh, it's going to be interesting what the month of February looks like. Uh, you know what headlines are going to be out there that to possibly uh, spook uh, the market and. You know, when distribution does start to hit the major averages, it's uh, it'll probably be pretty scary there for a couple of days. But if you're in the right stocks and you bought them at the right time, you're in a position now where you can afford uh, to sit through some uh, volatility that's inevitably going to come at uh, at some point. But for right now, the market uptrend is upward until uh, proven otherwise. Buyers are in con- are buyers are in con- control. Even if we do see a higher volume decline, um, you know, big percentage decline in the major averages, uh, you know, big Russian trading volume where it comes in higher than the prior session, that's not the time to completely throw in the tell. You always just want to look at your holdings. How are they behaving alongside a, a weak market if indices are coming down in heavy volume? What are your stocks doing? Are they coming down in heavy volume as well? Or are they holding gains smartly above support, declining in light volume? These are all things to uh, keep an eye on uh, when we do start to uh, to pull back here. But uh, for now, you know, I'm not seeing anything wrong with this market, and uh, as a result, I'm not seeing any reason to uh, you know take uh, take partial profits or or even full profits. So we're just kind of letting what we have uh, work here, and. Um, Leave it, uh, leave it at that. So I mentioned IBM before we went to the break. Let's also check in on shares of uh, Google. Big percentage gain for Google today, up 5.9% to 744.20. Mentioned how Google recently had a lot of trouble getting over the swing point of 738. It, a breakout attempt uh, fell flat on its face, but Google was able to firm up at its 50-day moving average uh, yesterday and a nice gap up for the stock uh, today. Earnings uh, came in at $10.65 a share. That was not a big beat by any means. The consensus estimate was for $10.58. Earnings up 12% from a year ago. Uh, Revenue minus traffic acquisition uh, costs. Uh, up 39% from a year ago to 11.34 uh, billion. That was almost uh, 1 billion below the consensus uh, estimate. A lot of uh, analysts chiming in today uh, saying they believe the company is pretty well positioned to um, get higher revenue in coming quarters from uh, mobile advertisements. So all in all, big buyers in Google today and a pretty uh, pretty solid quarter. All right, we've been talking about shares of Intuitive Surgical. Definitely a stock that the selling pressure. Sellers were in this stock and technically it was not looking healthy ahead of earnings, but give the company credit because anytime you're a high multiple name like Intuitive Surgical, there are concerns about slowing top line growth in recent quarters. Um, they uh, produced accelerating growth across a few different fronts uh, last night, and that is noteworthy. So not surprising to see the stock up 9.3 percent today to 5.66.53. Uh, Go- uh, Intuitive Surgical uh, was able to break out over resistance today at 5.54, uh, which is a significant. Earnings up 13 percent to 4.25 a share. That was better than expected. Uh, sales growth also better than expected. We'll uh, get a little more into Intuitive Surgical. We're going to head into another break here, uh, but we'll talk about ISRG when we come back. Uh, Again, this is a story of accelerating top-line growth, and that's uh, always good when you're a growth stock. We'll be right back, folks. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. 
Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intraweek trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by Direction Shares. To learn more about technical tools for the sophisticated active investor, hit the Direction Shares banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, friends, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. Let's check in on the markets here. About uh, 25 minutes left to go in Wednesday's session. Shortened week of uh, trading here. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial up 73 points, half a percent gain to 13,785. NASDAQ Composite up 12 points, four tenths of a percent to 3,155. And the S&P 500 last at 1,495, up a little more than two points. Uh, volume still tracking slightly uh, lower on the exchanges to uh, what we saw on uh, Tuesday. NASDAQ volume right now tracking about, uh, oh, three to four percent, uh, three to four percent lower uh, than what we saw on uh, Tuesday. NYSE volume uh, tracking slightly uh, lower as well. So uh, all in all, this market continues to behave uh, pretty well. Again, we're going to be, um, you know, keeping close tabs on what uh, what Apple uh, has to say after the close here. It is uh, currently up nine dollars and four cents, one point eight percent to five thirteen eighty one ahead of the results. Uh, let's go back to Intuitive Surgical here because this is a stock that was you know definitely looking a little vulnerable ahead of earnings. It had um, been in rally mode since uh, late December. 
Uh, big sellers in the stock uh, just before Christmas time. This is when that uh, short selling website Citron Research came out with negative uh, comments. I have to say, you know, going to that website, there it is pretty poorly written first of all so anytime you see you know negative comments about a stock but you know i mean the 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 the, the writers that they have there i don't know i mean they're just just a poorly poorly written uh, page on the uh, on the home page there but citron research has come out recently with negative things to say about zillow um uh, they also had negative things to say about uh, Questcore, Q-C-O-R. So it is a website that does move markets, no question about it. Uh, Intuitive Surgical, just before Christmas, lost 10 11% in a two-day period uh, right here. But the stock, uh, you know, was able to... Uh, right itself. It was still sitting underneath some pretty stiff resistance levels, you know, 520, 524 thereabouts, but uh, uh, that is all in the rearview mirror now because uh, the stock right now up 9.3% to 566.62. Uh, mentioned the earnings. They did 425 a share. That was uh, 21 cents above the consensus estimate. Sales up 23% to 609.3 million. I mentioned uh, the acceleration. Sales were up 23% from a year ago, but uh, the important thing is that it was sequential acceleration in the third quarter sales were up uh, 20%. So uh, that is uh, that is good to see. There were also acceleration in other metrics here. Revenue from system sales rose 18%. Uh, that's an acceleration from 17% growth in the third quarter. And revenue from instrument and accessory sales, that was up 29%, uh, an acceleration from 24% growth in the third quarter. Intuitive Surgical sold 175. Da Vinci Systems in the quarter up 15% from a year ago overall proceedings. Procedures rose 25%, uh, driven mostly by U.S. gynecological and general surgery growth. So that is it on Intuitive Surgical, but uh, credit to the company for uh, a very nice fourth quarter earnings report. How about uh, Cree, C-R-E-E? -E. This is a maker of light-emitting diodes. Uh, you know what LEDs are. You know, you hit your uh, caps lock on your computer. Sometimes you see a light that tells you your caps lock is on. Those are light-emitting diodes. Uh, diodes, and uh, that is what uh, Cree does. Their earnings were pretty darn good, up 28% from a year ago to 32 cents a share, three cents above the consensus estimate. Sales were up 14% to 346.3 million. A bunch of analysts uh, reiterated buy ratings: uh, Stiefel Nicholas, Cantor Fitzgerald, and Needham. All reiterated, uh, reiterated buy ratings. Uh, this is a heavily shorted stock. At the end of 2012, short interest stood at 16.6 .6 million shares, uh, down from 17.6 million at the end of the third quarter. So. Uh, just a huge move for Cree today, up 22.5%. Amazing move, uh, last trading at $41 a share. Some of the earnings clunkers today. You know, we got to talk about some of the... Uh some of the earnings clouds today. How about uh, shares of Coach? A ugly gap down for the stock today, down 16.3% to $50.80. That is an incredible move. Lower earnings up 4% to $1.23 a share. That was six cents below the consensus estimate. Sales up 4% to $1.5 billion. The estimate was $1.6 billion. So uh, pretty ugly results from uh, coach, among other things, they talked about lackluster holiday sales in North America. Uh, sure that uh, haven't looked at Tiffany today, but I'm sure Tiffany is getting well weighed down, but not by much. Shares of Tiffany down 43 cents to 62.71, and at last checks, affordable luxury play Michael Kors. Um, actually looking uh, pretty good here, working on three straight gains, up 1.4% to 55.72. Uh, this one looks good. I think it's getting ready to uh, to move, so we'll keep an eye on Michael Kors. Has a lot of qualities I like to, to see in a stock, I I including uh, outstanding earnings and sales growth in recent quarters, bright growth prospects looking out into fiscal 2013, fiscal 2014, and maybe most important, I think still in the early stages of being discovered by uh, mutual fund growth managers. So 
with the market acting as well as it is, uh, technical structures like Michael Kors should be looked at closely here. And I want to just show you a weekly chart here from Michael Kors. And what you see here is... You know, I mean, it's it's really what looks to me like a base on top of a base pattern here, but you can see it's getting close to the top of the uh, second base. You can see the annual earnings uh, growth in fiscal 2013, 2014, very, very strong here. So uh, this is front and center on the watch list at, uh, at this point. Also, moving on, taking a look at shares of McDonald's. Um, McDonald's has really come back uh, to life in November. This uh, was a stock that had, well, it had corrected from about 94 down to 84 in mid-November. And then pretty much when the market started to rally just uh, just before Thanksgiving, uh, McDonald's was right there rallying along with the market. It uh, basically moved from 84.85 to its uh, current price of 93.45, but shares up half a percent today and uh, working on four straight gains, as you can see right here, getting near the top top of a base that started back here in October. So the numbers at uh, McDonald's, uh, they made $1.38 a share, up 4% from a year ago, uh, 5 cents better than views. Sales up 2% to $6.95 billion, slightly better than expected. McDonald's stuck to its long-term benchmarks for system-wide sales growth of 3 to 5% and operating income growth of 6 to 7%. And uh, finally, in the Dow, I think uh, United Technologies is a, a Dow component. Uh, another stock that is very, very extended here. You can see the breakout in December over a swing point of 82. Uh, it is now at uh, 88.13, so very extended here, working on four straight gains. United Technologies up 66 cents to 88.13. Uh, earnings down 10% to $1.29, but that was a uh, uh, full 26 cents ahead of estimates. Sales up 14% to 16.4 billion, slightly below. They forecast 2013 profit of 585 to 615 a share, current consensus estimate of 604. So uh, decent results from United Technologies. Wanted to check in on shares of Middleby here, M-I-D-D. Uh, Middleby having a strong day today, up 5 bucks, 3.7% gain to 139.46. And I want to swing back and take a look at a, a, a weekly chart for Middleby. And you can see this is a stock that had a monster breakout uh, back in, in August. How many people do you think we're afraid to buy Middleby when it broke out from this sideways consolidation? Everybody said, ah, you know, I'm going to, you know, I don't want to chase it. it. It's breaking out, but this was a heavy volume breakout. And if you had bought at that time, uh, you can see how Middleby has just hugged its 10-week moving average uh, all the way up. Very extended at this point. Don't want to chase. Again, this is the rule, not the exception at this point. Too many extended stocks out there uh, to consider chasing at this point, but Middleby having another great day today. Earlier this month, the uh, company, which basically is a food service equipment maker. They announced plans to buy oven and kitchen appliance maker Viking Range Corporation for $380 million. Wanted to take a look at an ETF here as well. The um, iShares Biotech Fund here. Uh, this, to me, looks like a bullish uh, cup with handle pattern taking shape. Uh, biotech's under some pressure today. Um, the IBB is down a seven tenths of a percent, not participating in the market rally today to 144.47. But uh, let's take a look at the uh, weekly chart for the IBB, and you actually do have a nice symmetrical cup with handle pattern. This tells me that an upside breakout is a distinct possibility. I'd like to wait for it to happen. I don't want to buy in anticipation of that uh, breakout. We have to keep in mind that a lot there are biotechs out there that are under uh, quite a bit of um, uh, pressure today, and you know, definitely a stock on our uh, short list here. Uh, Alexian uh, having a very rough day today. You can see Alexian down 4.1% to 93.42. Uh, this is a stock that's been looking tired for a long time. It's been a big bull market winner. It's a flagship drug. Its main revenue driver is uh, Soliris, which uh, treats a, a rare blood disorder. But uh, you can see the monster move the stock has made uh, sitting underneath 
uh, uh, key sitting underneath uh, support levels that now look like they are uh, resistance. So this one looks like a better short at this point than uh, a long. But um, still, just wanted to mention the IBB, the biotech uh, ETF, still uh, looking uh, looking pretty pretty solid here. Let's also take a look at Penske Auto Group, a name that we haven't talked about uh, very much uh, on the show, but uh, Penske Automotive Group, PAG, enjoying a nice little breakout from a cup with handle uh, base here. Volume very heavy in the stock today, up 4.3% to 32.35. Still within uh, buying range here. You're not chasing by buying uh, Penske right here. Could be the early stages of a uh, breakout. $2.9 billion market cap here. And uh, earnings are due February 6th. And uh, look for profit of $0.52 cents a share, up 11% from a year ago. Uh, sales also up 11% to $3.3 billion. So, you know, the market is still dishing up some base uh, breakouts here but uh, still it's 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 a very tricky market right now because you know a lot of people have may have been slow to put money to work now they're thinking about doing what uh, what do you buy and again to repeat you don't want to chase you don't want to chase the strong performers that have been moving uh, moving higher for at least uh, a month now and you also want to be careful of, of buying the stocks that appear cheap that may look palatable but you know they there could be lagging the market too you know so uh, at this point what I would do is wait for your high quality names to, to pull back to uh, support because that's uh, typically uh, what happens so that's a, a good segue you know uh, what what names uh, are we thinking about for ultimate growth stocks? What names look good on pullbacks to uh, support here? Well, in retail, I have made no secret about the fact that I like uh, Urban Outfitters. I think this is going to be a, a good retail story in 2013. Uh, it is extended uh, right now, but when the market does pull back, I'm really looking at that $40 level to uh, to be support. Uh, so that would be a much more palatable entry point rather than you know considering buying at its uh, current level around 4250 so watching urban out outfitters for a pullback to the 10 week moving average how about the uh, chip designer that we've been talking about arm holdings company very well positioned for growth in the smartphone and tablet market uh, another stock here love to see it come down to that 38 level uh, an area that i you know, believe it will likely find uh, support, and you know we'll see if it can firm up uh, there. And let's also take a look at United Rentals because we're going to be hearing from United Rentals after the close after the close uh, today and you know we'll see what the earnings uh, look like it, you're definitely going to see another strong quarter of bottom line and top line growth uh, united rentals recently trading around 4944 it's 10 week moving average uh, at uh, f just over 45 so another you know another stock where a pullback down to that 10 week line could be a nice little entry point um, United Rentals provides construction and industrial equipment rentals. Uh, look for a profit of a dollar one a share. That would be up 23% from a year ago. Sales up 69% to 1.26 billion. So there is a uh, a very real growth story going on at United uh, Rentals, and you know another stock. Love to see a pullback to the 10 week uh, moving average. We got shaken out of this name once, but it doesn't mean I'm not ready to revisit the stock. Uh, Chihu 360 Technology, QIHU on the NASDAQ, 10 week moving average down around uh, 28. Pullback there would be uh, pretty tasty. We'll be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely 
completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, David White, Larry Pesavento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Just recently on December 28th, Market Insight subscribers were advised to go along the QQQ, the NASDAQ 100 ETF on December 28th at 63.91. And only two trading days later, after a huge jump in the markets, Market Insight subscribers were advised to sell the QQQ at 66.64 for a $2.73 or 4.27% profit to start off 2013. At the same time, Tom O'Brien had advised his clients looking for a more leveraged trade that they could have initiated a position in the QLD, the ProShares Ultra QQQ ETF, and over the same two trading days, Market Insights subscribers were able to lock in a $4.48 profit or an 8.47% gain in just one trade. Get your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during your free trial and pay nothing. Don't miss out on the next great trading opportunity in 2013. Act today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program. The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, founder and CEO of TFNN, professional trader and educator, also a special guest on CNBC, analyzing the commodity markets. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Putting the finishing touches on Wednesday's session here. About five minutes left to go in uh, Wednesday trading the Dow right now up 64 points 13776 Nasdaq up close to 11 points to 3154 S&P 500 up about one and a half points to 1494 quick check on Apple here as we head into the close uh, again we're going to hear from uh, Apple after the close, their fiscal first quarter earnings report. Again, the earnings per share figure uh, should be around $13.41. Sales, $54.7 billion. Uh, iPhone sales estimates in that $46, $48 million. I've seen estimates as high as $51, $52. Uh, iPad estimates uh, between $23 and $25 million units. So shares of uh, Apple still 
trading uh, near its session high today, up 1.8 percent to 5.1397. Uh, very quiet week of economic data tomorrow. The only thing really on tap is weekly jobless claims. Uh, they're expected to come in at 355,000, up 20,000 from the prior week. And then Friday, the only piece of data will be new home sales for December. Uh, they're expected to rise 2.7% to 387,000 units. Also, after the close today, we're going to hear from Netflix. NFLX, you know, you've got to give this company a lot of uh, credit. Netflix uh, really corrected sharply in price, but uh, pretty much since uh, September, October, the stock has been just in an incredible uptrend, uh, trading near a session high today up $5.61. That's a 5.7% gain to 103.42 ahead of earnings. They're expected to lose $0.13 cents a share with sales up uh, only 7% from a year ago to 934.1 million. But this is uh, technically a very strong stock under a lot of accumulation. Um, let's take a look at a weekly chart for Netflix, and you'll see what this uh, stock has been able to uh, uh, come back from. At one point, you know, Netflix just looked like one of these former uh, leaders that were just getting ready to, uh, to, to roll over for good. See, it was a $300 uh, stock back in the summer of 2011, uh, corrected all the way down to, what, 55 60 bucks a share, but has, uh, you know, rallied, uh, rallied back nicely, so, uh, and showing some accumulation along the way. So Netflix uh, looking uh, pretty good here. Also, after the close, we're going to hear from Western Digital. These disk drive makers, basically Western Digital and Seagate have been going gangbusters. Big move for Western Digital yesterday, giving back some of its gains, but not by much, only 35 cents lower today to 4701 earnings there expected to be up 21% from a year ago to a dollar 82 sales up 84% from a year ago to 3.68 billion tomorrow on Thursday we're going to hear from uh Celgene Remember, Celgene at the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference uh, earlier this month, uh, they issued very bullish revenue guidance for several years out. Also, they reported positive trial results for uh, Premalast, its treatment for psoriasis. So uh, optimism uh, pretty pretty bullish around uh, Celgene. We'll see what their numbers look like uh, tomorrow. Stock is uh, bio biotech weakness today, so Celgene down a buck twenty-five to ninety-eight oh six. Uh, also tomorrow mentioned Union Pacific, the last of the railroads uh, set to report, and uh, we're also going to hear from Microsoft. Get a look at uh, initial sales of its Windows 8 operating system and the Surface Tablet. Microsoft makes a tablet. Oh yeah, yeah the Surface Tablet. Um, not sure how good those numbers are going to be, but uh, we'll hear from Microsoft after the close tomorrow. Also, Starbucks. Busy, busy, busy. Coming up next, the Tom O'Brien Show. I'll see you back here tomorrow, folks, 3 o'clock Eastern, for another edition of Breakout Investing. Enjoy the rest of the day. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to mastering probability today, because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.